Good morning or good evening or good afternoon. I guess it all depends on when you're watching this. Um, but anyway, we are uh, on day 21 of a 40-day fast. So we are in the you know, officially starting the second half. And um, I, I want to encourage you today um, regarding something that I've personally experienced and um, I guess it's, it's more that I, I want to expose but encourage you through exposing something that um, that our enemy tries to do to us. Um, many times that you know we start a fast and we are you know we're on fire we're you know, we, we come into it strong and, you know, about the halfway point, it seems like sometimes you can hit a, uh, a moment of weakness, a moment where maybe you you didn't follow through on what you, you planned to do for a day or two, um, or maybe you, you get sick and you're not able to, to do the fast the way that you wanted to. Um, and I just, I want to encourage you not to give up. Um, don't don't let the devil lie to you because he will try, and he will he will come at you with whispers of uh, how how could you do that? You failed. You you might as well give up. And you know everything that that he will tell you will be tr you know if you really think about it, it it's going to be an effort to drive you further away from the Lord. And when the Lord whispers to you, you will hear him calling, come to me, come drink from, you know, the well that I have, drink from my spirit. And, um, you know, we, it's important to identify and, and to know when the enemy is trying to lie to you. Um, the Bible tells us in, in John chapter 8, uh, verse 44, that, um, that Satan is the father of lies. And then in 2 Corinthians, it tells us that he's also appears as an angel of light. In 1 Peter, chapter 5, Satan prowls like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Um, Revelation tells us he's the deceiver of the world. Um, and if you read James 4, 7, and 8, it says, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. So I, I just want to encourage you, um, if you've had a rough few days, if you've had, you know, maybe even a rough week, and you, you haven't, you know, maybe you say to yourself, I, I haven't given it all that I should, it's not too late. This isn't, uh, it's not a competition. It's not um, something that God's wanting to beat you over the, the head about. He's He's just wanting you to draw close to him. And, uh, it, you know, so I encourage you, give God everything that you have for the next 20 days and beyond. Um, and just, just, bask in his presence and just see all the, the amazing things that he'll do. Um, I've already personally experienced uh, some miracles and I'm, I'm sure many of you have, and um, I believe there's a lot more coming. So be encouraged. Um, don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Seek God. Um, tell the, the Bible says, resist him, resist the devil and there's a promise there. If, if you submit to God and you resist the devil, he has to flee. It, it, it's, it's a sealed deal. Um, he doesn't have a choice. So I just encourage you in that. Um, if, you're, if you're feeling weakened in any way, you know, reach out, call somebody. Call me if you've got my number. Um, but uh, don't listen to the enemy. So have a great day. Seek the Lord. And um, I'll see you Sunday, hopefully. Be blessed.